Section 2 It can't survive, he said to Vittorio that night. To his son, Vittorio, and to Dayan Jacoby, the only relative he favored, he leaned back in his chair and drank bitter downer wine in his apartment which was piled with the stacked, expensive furniture which had been in the other severed rooms. Hell's falling apart under us. Angelo's soft-handed policies are going to lose it for us, and maybe get our throats cut in riot in the bargain. It's going. You understand me? Do we sit and take what comes? Vittorio looked suddenly way-faced, as his habit was when talk turned serious. Dayan was of another sort. He sat grim and thoughtful. A contact, John said yet more plainly, has to exist. Dayan nodded. In times like these, two doors might be a sensible necessity, and I'm sure doors exist all over this station, with the right keys. How compromised do you reckon those doors are? And where? Your cousins handled cases of some of our transients. You have any ideas? Black market and rejuve drugs and others. That's in full flower here, don't you know? Constantine himself gets it. You got it on down below. It's legal. Of course it's legal. It's necessary. But how does it get here? Ultimately, it comes from Union's side. Merchanter's deal, it comes through. Someone, somewhere, is into the pipeline. Merchanters. Maybe even station-side contacts. So how do we get one to get a contact back up the pipeline? I can learn. I know one. Vittorio said, startling them both. He licked his lips, swallowed heavily. Rosine. That whore of yours? She knows the market. There's a security officer, high up. Clean paper all the way, but he's bought by the market. You want something unloaded or loaded? Want a blind eye turned? He can arrange it. John stared at his son. This product of a year's contract. His desperation to have an heir. It was not, after all. Surprising that Vittorio knew such things. Excellent, he said dryly. You can tell me about it. Maybe we can trace something. Dan, our holdings at Viking. We should look into them. You aren't serious. I'm very serious. I've engaged Hansford. Her crew is still in hospital. Her interior's a shamble. But she'll go. They need the money desperately, and you can find a crew through those contacts of Vittorio's. Don't have to tell them everything, just sufficient to motivate them. Viking's the next likely trouble spot, the next certain trouble spot. A risk, isn't it? A lot of freighters have accidents with things as they are. Some vanish. I'll hear from Constantine over it. But I'll have the out, an act of faith in Viking's future, a confirmation, a vote of confidence. He drank the wine with a twist of his mouth. You'd better go fast, before some flood of refugees hits us from Viking itself. You make contact with the pipeline there. Follow it as far as you can. What chance has Pell got now but with Union? The company's no help. The fleet's adding to our problem. We can't stand forever. Constantine's policies are going to see riot here, before all's done. And it's time for a changing of the guard. You'll make that clear to Union. You understand. They get an ally. We get... as much as we can get out of the association. That second door to jump through at worst. If Pell holds... We just sit still. Safe. If not, we're better off than others, aren't we? And I'm the one risking my neck, Dan said. So, 
Would you rather be here when a riot finally breaks through those barriers? Or would you rather have a chance to make some personal gain with a grateful opposition? Line your own pockets? I'm sure you will. And I'm sure you'll have deserved it. Generous, Dayan said sourly. Life here, John said, isn't going to be any better. It could be very uncomfortable. It's a gamble. What isn't? Dayan nodded slowly. I'll run down some prospects for a crew. Thought you would. You trust too much, John. Only this side of the family. Never Constantine's. Angelo should have left me there on down below. He probably wishes he could have. The council voted otherwise. And maybe that was lucky for them. Maybe it was.